Luke, what did you see as the biggest difference down the stretch? Our turnovers killed us tonight. We had 16 turnovers for 30 points um, against a good team. And our guys fought, uh, gave ourselves chances, but you get 30, you get 30 points away from turnovers on, a, on the road against a playoff caliber team. That's, that's going to be a tough one to win. What were you looking for lineup-wise just between Brooke and Julius and Coos? Like, guys that were going to get the job done. And, uh, you know, it was it, it, the, we, were, we were going in the wrong direction, so we had to make another lineup change. What specifically there? How were you going in the wrong direction in, in what way? We went from winning to losing quickly, so we had to make some changes. It's the second time you're that game. The other game in Denver was a while ago. Anything consistent that you saw and that, that uh, typified a, a road loss when the other team makes a run late? What's it? Just so you were you were up uh, with about five minutes left the last time you were here too. Yeah, yeah. That's why we, we stress defense so much. Um, to to win in this league and to win consistently, you have to be able to get stops. And that game earlier in the season here, we couldn't get stops in the fourth. Tonight, we couldn't get stops in the fourth, uh, and we lost both of them. Was there something that was frustrating you on the court late? And it looked like you may, may have been having some words. Well, um, yes, I was a little frustrated, yeah. Anything? A few things. Um, a few different things had me very frustrated. Things they were doing or things your team was doing? Both. What were the things they were doing that, that the Nuggets were doing that frustrated you? Um, I felt like for the second time we played here, uh, Murray's been a little disrespectful at the end of the game. Specific, I mean, obviously, dribbling around Lonzo the first time, specifically tonight, what did you see? Um, some Just some trash talking towards, towards our, our guys. Was that going on throughout the game? I don't know. I don't know. I noticed it late. Lou, did you? Th what did you think was behind the turnovers? Was it was it sloppy? Is there some inconsistency with these guys that have been played in groups? Uh, was it a bunch of things together? I go watch the tape um, because it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't be the case. And, and we're gonna have I, I'm I'm understand we're gonna have somewhat of a higher turnover number than I'd like because of how fast we want to play. But one, we weren't playing that fast uh, at least in the first half. We weren't pushing the ball nearly as much as we should have. Um, but you know, 16 for 30 is that's that's not that's not okay. But I gotta watch the tape to see what what was happening. Why? What's allowed Brooke offensively to get just better looks or more opportunities inside these last two games? Oh, he's just he's done a really nice job of of getting down there and demanding the ball. And uh, you know, when he's scoring, he has the skill set that he has. Um, you know, I think it, it gives his teammates a lot of confidence to keep wanting to go to him more and more down there. And, and uh, he was very uh, effective for us again. There were times that Lonzo seemed to be everywhere. Uh, what did you make of his overall floor game? It was good. Uh, a little up and down. I felt like he might have been tired a little bit tonight. But when he was flying around, he just, I mean, he is a, a special basketball player. And, and the things he does, his anticipation, um, you know, just the, the way he can get other people shots or some of those tip-ins. Um, but we, we need to get um, we, we need to get that type of play mo throughout more of the game, uh, which he normally does. So I don't know if the altitude affected him at all tonight. Um, but when he was good, he was really good tonight.